The Whiplox Wi-Fi Whip Mobile loosely inspired by the Batmobile is essentially a four-wheel stunt car controlled by a phone-based remote. Out of the four wheels of the Whip Mobile, two are for operating it forwards or backwards, and the rest two are for performing stunts. The Wi-Fi Whip Mobile also has a blocks that allows the car to be controlled wirelessly, aka the Wi-Fi blocks. So, in today's activity, let's build it. First for the car base, get 3x3 hole elbows, 2x2 hole elbows, and 1x mm coupler. Attach them together as shown. For the next part of the base, attach 2x2 hole elbows, 1x3 hole elbows, and 2x1 hole elbows as shown. Now connect the two base subassemblies together. Now take 3x3 hole elbows and 1x5 hole beam and join them in the shape of an anchor as shown. Connect the sub-assembly to the base as shown. Our whip mobile base is ready. Now take 1x motor and motor driver blocks and two wheels. Attach the wheels to the motor shaft. Now connect the BO motor to the whip mobile base via the slot on the motor holder brick. This motor assembly will help the whip mobile go forward and backward. Now take another motor and driver blocks. Attach this motor to the base such that the shaft is facing towards the front of the whip mobile. For the rotating shaft, take two X1 hull beams, two XMM couplers, one Barrio shaft and a small 30 mm axle. First, join the BO shaft to the one hull beam and then connect this to the other one hull hull beam. Attach the two XMM couplers sideways so that it will act as a pathway for the wheel and axle. Connect the small 30mm axle to one wheel and pass the axle through the couplers. Finish this step by attaching the second wheel to the small 30mm axle. Attach this rotating wheel assembly to the BO motor shaft. Take the power blocks connected to battery and attach the battery to the battery holder. Attach one blocks holder to the car base to keep the blocks in place. Now let's build the logic of the Whitmobile robot. Connect the power blocks to the Wi-Fi 2 channel blocks. Join the motor driver blocks to each other via the notch on the shell and then connect them to the Wi-Fi 2 channel blocks to complete the logic. Now let's see how to connect and use our Wi-Fi clip using mobile phone. First turn on the power blocks. This ensures that the Wi-Fi blocks is receiving power. Now turn on your phone's Wi-Fi and go to the Wi-Fi settings. Here search for the Wi-Fi network with the name Wi-Fi Clip V2. Now connect to the Wi-Fi Clip V2 by entering the password of the Wi-Fi blocks. The password is mentioned on the Wi-Fi chip. Once the password is entered correctly, it will display connected. Now head over to the Wi-Fi Clip app, select two-channel Wi-Fi blocks. Attach the logic of the Whip Mobile on the base, and voila your Wi-Fi Whip Mobile is now ready for use.